Um, well, I'm just just wondering what the what the NBA highest was like for you, and how is your health right now? Um, considering you've had four months off compared to where it was in March. Has it been four months? Um, I mean, I feel good. Uh, you know, I was able to work out. You know, get strong and you know prepare for this moment now that we're in. Um, you know, it's about to be first practice today, so I'm excited. Thank you, Tomer. Uh, next question is from Ohm. Go ahead, Ohm. Hey, Kawhi. Great seeing you again. Um, I was wondering, what's the process going to be for you ramping up? Nobody's ever been through this before, like a four-month break in the middle of the season. What's it going to be like for you to kind of ramp back up to postseason play and, and to get your body there to get uh, in that kind of playing shape? Uh, I mean... It's just like an off season, pretty much. You know, you you usually have three months, and then come in for a training camp, have a couple practices, uh, then you got the preseason games, and you know that's pretty much the mindset. Uh, but um, like everybody knows, you only get eight games, uh, you know, to get ready for the postseason. But pretty much, just take that same timeline um, to prepare yourself, and um, you know, everybody knows their body and knows what they need to do. So I mean. You know, it's going to be my first practice today, so we're going to go out and see how I feel and then just go from there, just keep building off of that. But nobody knows. Thanks, so. Um, uh, Chris Haynes, you're next, Chris. Go ahead. Hey, Kawhi. Um, we wanted to ask about the, the significance of this title run. And how how you think this will be perceived or compared to others? You know, obviously there's people talking about rewarding asterisks um, to this season. How do you look at this season and the, the trials you got coming up as you guys try to make this championship um, push? Uh, this is just the layout of this year, you know. So uh, just pretty much stay focused. I mean, uh, you know, it's not like a, a regular. Um, NBA season, um, you know, nobody life is, you know, pretty much how they planned it to be at this point, well, you know, with the pandemic. Uh, so, I mean, just you take it for what it is. Uh, you know, everybody's happy that, uh, you know, a championship will be crowned this year. And if that's uh, the 2020 championship, then, you know, we won it. Um, so, you know, that's how I look at it. Uh, this is what the layout is, and it's, it's for us to go out there and, you know, complete this journey. Uh, Dan Wojcik, you're up. Dan. Hey, Kawhi, uh, I'm, I'm curious. The NBA just announced that two players um, tested positive in quarantine in Orlando. Um, 19 others still haven't made the trip. Um, cases are what they are in Florida. How, how confident are you in the bubble as a whole? And... How likely do you think this works? How confident am I in a bubble? Meaning what? Like, am I to keep to keep you guys safe? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's no surprise to me that somebody you know got it within a bubble. Uh, you know, you know, you bring in so many people from different cities and states, and you, you there's no control over it, pretty much. Uh, you know, but I think we're doing the best that we can. The NBA put, you know, together, you know, this process, uh, this quarantine, and, you know, we're doing everything, you know, under the guidelines of testing every day, uh, trying to keep, you know, ourselves social distance from everyone. But, you know, who knows? Well, I mean, what's going to happen? All we could do is try to stay optimistic about it and be positive, and, you know, hopefully we could finish this season. Christina Pink. Go ahead, Christina. All right, Christina. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, Kawhi, you, kind of you said you feel good physically. The mental aspect of staying engaged with basketball with your teammates throughout the hiatus, what was that like and kind of how did you guys incorporate that during this time? I mean, other than uh, communication uh, between phone or text, uh, 
you know, that was pretty easy. Um, you know, when it first started, you know, everybody was pretty much quarantined with their family. Didn't want to risk anything, just, you know, just trying to be responsible. Uh, but, you know, as things went on and as the NBA started to open up, you know, practice facilities and, um, you know, just interaction or engagements with the front office, uh, you know, just took it for what it was, make, making sure everybody, you know, cleaned their hands, be safe, and um, just try to control the symptoms from there. Just see if someone has symptoms. If, if they did, then, you know, we, you, you got to stay away. Don't try to go to the gym with them. But, I mean, it was difficult, but I think everybody on their own time was able to, you know, focus on themselves and, you know, make sure their body and their mind was you know, going to be prepared for this moment here. So that's pretty much what it was. You just have to be selfish at that standpoint and just, you know, making sure that you stay healthy and be protecting your body and getting better. Thanks, Kawhi. Last question. Uh, Nikki, go ahead, Nikki. Hey, Kawhi. Um, Doc spoke a lot about how you guys have utilized this time to uh, make a, a statement of this opportunity and what you can do to talk about Black Lives Matter in this moment. What do you want to see from your team and how the NBA utilizes the opportunity? And then have you given any thought to what you'll have on the back of your jersey, whether it be your name or for a statement for social justice? Um, I mean, for me and my teammates, pretty much everybody, um, you know, we're, we're, we're black. So we've been, we've been dealing with this situation We've been giving back to our communities. Um, it's just broadcasted now uh, since everybody's been in quarantine, I feel like. Um, so it's, it's a big focal point on that when you're at home watching the news. But uh, I'm just going to continue to do what I've been doing, giving back to my community, educating my community, and, uh, you know, just keep going from there. Um, you know, what's, what's happened, uh, what everybody been seeing on the news, it's, it's been like that. You know, for me, I've been seeing those situations. So, I mean, it's nothing new to me, and I'm gonna still continue to help and, you know, educate people, and as well as my teammates. It doesn't matter if we have a statement on the back of our jersey, it's about doing the work.